Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone, the elder bishops. We still go out during the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, Inshallahum, Labachorium, Wabarakium, Shoya Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashon Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And the name of this lesson is going to be called the Words of Prophecy, man. And that's what we're speaking, okay? So, the first precept I'm going to grab is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, which means to look. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Now, the who the Lord's people? The Lord's people are the Israelites, okay, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and also the Israelite foreigners who look like the other heathen nations, but on the seat of their father, Goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, that's the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay, the Lord's chosen people. So this is the book of Second Edges, fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Israelites, the words of prophecy. Right, see, which is contained in the Bible. Okay, the prophecies are contained in the Scripture, so that's what we're speaking according to. Because according to Isaiah eight and twenty, if we don't speak according to this word. It is because there is no light in us, which represents Yahweh Shah, that light. So I got a quick scripture right quick. This is the book of Isaiah 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass. Right. What's the former things? The former prophecies. Okay. The flood. Okay. The exodus out of Egypt. World War II. World War One. You know. Uh, let me see. Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. Those prophecies came to pass, man. All right. And it says, and new things do I declare, right? We're declaring the new end days of the last days prophecies, okay? About Lawyer Howard Shah's return uh, of the MOTB, which is the chip being mandatory, all right? The hour of temptation, you know, you got martial law, you know, you got the famine of food, water, you got the famine of the word, you know, uh, so on and so forth, right? It says, before they spring forth, I tell you of them, right? See, because Isaiah was a prophet, right? So the prophets are doing the same thing that they was doing back in the ancient times. They're, they're prophesying, which means to speak before. They're speaking of the prophecies or the events before they happen, before they actually play out. And that's what we're doing in these times, okay? As a matter of fact, hold on. Since I said that. This is the book of Jeremiah 28, verse 8. This is all lining up. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Right, see? So the prophets back in the day and the prophets during these times are prophesying against, which meaning the downfall of many, uh, of many countries. The main country being uh, America, man, which is the greatest, wickedest kingdom ever established. All right. And right along with the other countries that are being influenced by America. All right. And it says and against great kingdoms of war. Right. World War three. All right. A war that Yahweh Shah is going to bring uh, uh, to these uh, military troops, man, of the destruction of them. And you got the race wars. You got the economic wars, you know, so on and so forth. Right. It says, and of evil, e meaning time, ill meaning bad. The ultimate bad time is going to be when Jacob's trouble is really, uh, really kicking off, man. You see? Because right now, it's slowly burying. You know, you got them uh, coming door to door, you know, with that right hook to try to make people or force people to take it, you know? So that's, that's the beginning of the bad times right there because soon... Either you're going to get it or you're going to get thrown in a concentration camp or a FEMA camp, man, a detention center. And it says, and of pestilence, right? And the, 
diseases is on the rise as well, man. You see? You got the uh the the dubotic plague coming back. You know what I'm saying? You got new different strands of uh the Windows 19, you know? That they that's so called coming back. That's the cases are ramping up again, you know, so on and so forth, man. Uh, as a matter of fact, verse 9, the prophet which prophesied for peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, meaning the prophecies, right? Then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent them, right? When you start seeing the uh, the, the events that you say is going to happen, they start uh, 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 start making mainstream media, man, you know? Starting off with the elder apostles and elder bitches them down, man, that's been doing this for 30 plus years, you know? We know that the Lord truly sent us, man, because we're seeing the the, the, the things uh, in the Bible before they actually uh, happen, man, before they actually hit mainstream media, okay? So, now, let's go back to 2nd Edges. 2nd Edges 15, verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right? See, the Lord, Yahweh Shemai, shall put his Holy Spirit upon us to understand the scriptures. You know, when the, when he said of the servants, the prophets, to teach the scriptures, which are the elder apostles and elder bishops, I'm down. You see, now we're doing it. Okay, now we're teachers of the word, right? And it says, uh, this is all orchestrated by Yahweh Shemai. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right? So the words that are written in the scriptures, whether it's the Old Testament, the New Testament, or the Apocrypha, they are faithful and true, all of them, okay, According, uh, including the book of Hebrews, all right, and the whole Bible, all right. So now, let me see here, let's go to the book of, uh, let's go to the book of Ezekiel. The 33rd chapter. Let's keep this rolling. Keep these three cells rolling. This is the book of Ezekiel. Let me see. Hold on. Specific one I want to get. This is the book of Ezekiel. Uh, chapter 33. Verse. I'm going to start at verse 30. This is Ezekiel 33 verse 30. Also thou son of man. The children of thy people. Which are the Israelites. Are still talking against thee, meaning they're talking about them, all right, and it's in a, 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 a derogatory way, all right. It was talking trash. It says, By the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every man, you no, know, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, hear what he and hear what is the word that come forth. From the Lord, right? See, so we turn our people to take the word of the Lord seriously. They don't take it seriously amongst the two thirds. They look at it as, a, as some form of uh, entertainment. They scoff and scorn at us, right? They, 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 they like the brother Hawashia Zayan, man. What happened to their camp? You know, you had this this lady talking about some. Uh, oh, it's annoying that y'all teaching the Bible. It's annoying. Well, can y'all move somewhere else? You know. So it's crazy, man. That, that that thought just came into my head, right? Whether she is Israelite or not, that thought came into my head. All right, verse thirty-one. It says, "And they came, and they came unto thee, as the people cometh." You know, they come on a comma boy. Yeah, shalom, shalom. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, keep on doing your thing. All praises to Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And it says, "And they sit before thee as thy people." And they hear thy words, but they will not do them right. We tell our people to stop doing certain things. You know what I'm saying? Then they got a problem with it. They, they agree with everything that we're bringing out according to the Bible, except that one stumbling block. You know what I'm saying? It might, it might be about the lineup. You know what I'm saying? We, we break down the scriptures concerning the lineup, saying you're not supposed to get them according to the Bible. And they got a problem with it. For smoking weed, man. We tell our people to stop smoking weed. That's a heathen. This the custom, all right, and that's against the scriptures. And they got a problem with it, man. All right, but they agree everything that we're we're bringing out concerning the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? And these uh, and these women, all right. And it says uh, so they're being a hero. They're not being a doer. They're being a bunch of hypocrites, which meaning uh, actors. 
For with their mouth they show thee much love, but with their heart, which mean a mind, go forth and go after their own covetousness, right? They want to do what they want to do. They're leaning into their own understanding, right? Verse 30, 32, it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, right? Of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, right? That's how we appeal to majority of our people, man. You know, we make up, we make videos concerning these women prophesying, you know what I'm saying, what's going to happen to them. It gets, they get all types of views, man. But as soon as some edification coming out about a certain other topic other than that, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the views are low. So they look at us just as entertainment, right? They're, 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 misusing, they're misusing the prophets. It says, and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, right, the prophecies, all right, about the destruction of America, about what's going to happen to these these wicked women, you know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen to the two thirds, you know, so on and so forth, right? Uh, but they will, but they do them not nah, right. They're not taking it seriously, all right. It's just uh, it's just like a, it's just like a what's the word? What's the word? It's just a form of entertainment, you know. That's just the word. Verse 33, it says, and when this comes to pass concerning the prophecies that we're speaking according to the Bible, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. But guess what? It's going to be too late. Because that's when they're going to take the word of the Lord seriously, when this thing really amplifies, when, 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 when it really gets real out here. All right. Then we're going to take the word of the Lord seriously, but it's going to be too late. All right. So, hey, man. Hey, Lord's when I was edifying through the spirit of Pavi Al Bashim Al Shah Bashim Makakodash. Till next time, Lord's when I say Shalom.